Hello, welcome to the vlog. I'm in fitness culture. It's like afternoon. I haven't vlogged at all. It's supposed to be legs. I drank an energy drink at 12 and got a shit ton done. So it's like four and I'm only working out now. Uh, it's supposed to be legs. I'm gonna be doing chest because I went snowboarding yesterday and basically pretty sore today. Not, not too, not too crazy sore. It's really it's just an excuse to do chest. You know what else is an excuse? These headphones. I'm not actually listening to anything. It's my excuse not to talk to people. Hey Steve, just you do that thing like, like you're deaf. Like you can't understand them. You continue your workout because sometimes it's the only way to get it in. But um, it was so nice. Go up Sunday. You know what? Instead of me talking about it, we're just gonna roll the footage on it right now because I was pretty much shredding the gnar. Check it out. Whoa! It is a leg day, Sunday fun day. So we definitely get out of the gym on Sundays and we try to typically do something outdoors. Today is all about shredding the gnar. I'm in my onesie. Sweet onesie, bro. Um, it's like 30 degrees out here, so I'm actually getting kind of hot, kind of toasty. But we're up here at beautiful Brian Head Resort about 90 minutes from where I live, and we're just gonna have a good time. We're not here to like be professional. If I don't backflip by the end of the day, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, and Alec, even though he's in Australia, he was from Australia, he lived in Canada for like two years and just snowboarded every day. <laughs> How long did you live there? 40 days? Yeah, like 42 days. So. 42 days on the, on the But you're, you're, a good, you're a good surfer, so it should be similar, right? Hopefully. All right, let's do this. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. And we're off. Look how freaking gorgeous it is up here. Feels good. Looks nice. Just a, a good day so nice. to enjoy the outdoors. If I'm breathing hard in this video, it's because we're at 10,000 feet, okay? <laughs> 10,000 feet and climbing right now. First uh, chairlift, chairlift exit of the day, we'll see how it goes. It's been three years. And I'm down. Dang it. I got hit by, I got hit by the chair. I was really hoping not to fall. We're now on the other side of the mountain. Did you follow me in that track? Huh? Did you follow me in that track? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yo, how good was that, huh? So much fun to get outside and just do something different. It's amazing all the little muscles that you don't realize that you're not using until you go something like snowboarding. But we're definitely gonna be doing more of that. So, but now it's 65 degrees out. That's why we got this open. So I'm gonna warm up and then it's a push day here. So new program, did a video on it last week, all about those push muscles. Warm up. That's a fitness culture warm up. Got two rounds of all that now. It's time to bench press. And then we got some pressing. So, press day, all things. So, chest, anterior delt, and then also some triceps in there. And then it's cardio. So, we got about 90 minutes of work here. We're not going to do a full trainer here, but let me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like so in future videos we can concentrate on like do you like just when we break down like one specific thing like how to get a stronger bench press or do you like seeing the full workouts oh that bench press 
press. That bench press, it's been a long time since we actually kept track of the weights in the app. It's good though, because 315 felt heavy. I mostly ever did 315. Uh, I did that 19 times when I was in college. I weighed 240, today I weighed 212. So you have that, but I, sh I should at least, no joke, I should be at least putting 315 up 12 times. So we got some work to do. Next up, we got uh, strict press. And by strict press, apparently I meant shoulder press, hammer strength. Machine shoulder press on the hammer strength. I got three sets of eight. Um, got a hit failure. Hit failure on that last one. Shoulders are down. Now it's time to dumbbell, dumbbell bench press. I'm a big fan. I'm just about dumbbell everything when it comes to chest, but I do like doing some barbell stuff because that's the standard. And I never had good barbell benching form. I didn't know that because I was always pretty strong, but there's always a lot more anterior delts. So I feel like with the dumbbells, I can really get the chest, set the lats in the correct position, chest nice and high and do good reps, which I feel a lot more in the chest. So I never really used to feel barbells working my chest. Um, so I'm gonna jump into that here in a second. Three sets of eight. P.S. If you're ever in my, in my gym and wanna take a good picture, this is the spot to take it. Sometimes the most work you do in a workout uh, is putting your weights back. So if you're that dude in the gym, it's like lifting a lot of weight, you better be putting your weight back. Because if you look like a douchebag and you don't put your weight back, oh, you're making a bad name for the rest of us that look like douchebags and then put our weight back, okay? So that is one thing about, one thing about the swole program here with fitness culture is a lot of volume. It doesn't matter what we're doing exactly, it's gonna be a lot of volume. So here, I got my incline bench. I'm gonna be doing flies like this. Look, you guys are like the cable. And I'm gonna go and superset as heavy as possible into dips, trying to fail between eight and 12. Um, I'm gonna do them actually over there because CrossFit dip machine bar thing sucks. So many people got butt hurt on the post I made today about these. Guys, look it up, okay? We just science the shit out of you. Well, maybe not you, because if you're watching my YouTube, you're a little bit more of an educated consumer. Some of these people on Instagram, some people's children just don't know a damn thing. By the way, I am listening to music now turned it on and I'm listening to like early 90s R&B. I got this dude in my ear talking like, when they do like the talking thing, they're singing like, baby, 
You don't understand how much I love you, do you? I'm here for you. Through all the thick and thin we've been through, I'm here doing curls to there. I'm doing tricep extensions to this shit. Gosh. I don't. Oh, you just said I'm gonna be here to my dying day. I love you, girl. I love you, tricep extension. You make my horseshoe so much bigger. And when I see you, my blood starts to pump and pump and I get feeling funny in places and tightness in places. And girl, I don't know what to do without you. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take you in my hands. I'm gonna hold you close. And then I'm gonna press you down, all the way down. Don't take them off. If anything, you gotta tighten them a little bit. 10 second break. So much faster. Best part, oh, blood just gets to come back to the heart. This is my favorite part of the day, picking up Hobbs. I'm like a dad picking his son up from daycare. He's happy to see me, he gives me kisses. It's also kind of cool because my nieces are here too. Hi. Can you hear you? Hi. Come say hello. Hi, hi. There you go, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, give me a kiss. Oh, you're kidding. Come, come here. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, that's a lot of food. Oh, I know. Abby. Oh, Al will get some love. I see. Come on. Hello. Hello. Put him down all fast. I'll just keep him running. Hi. Oh, hi. 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 And how are you doing? Good. Dude, you tracking those macros? Are you tracking those macros? Look how, look how thick he is. Oh my gosh. Come on, bro. Eat up. I want to see how big, tight, and thick you can get. Really hurt my feelings tonight. I came to get you from daycare, and you didn't even want to play. Do you need to go potty? Come on, let's go potty. Oh hi, hi Freddy McGee, hi Freddy McGee. Oh, oh go get him. Come here, come here, Calvin. Come here, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, you're such a good boy, dancing for the camera. You dancing for the camera? Hi, and then there's you. Oh hi, hi. Oh, you swiping at the camera? <laughs> You swiping at the camera? Oh, hi. Oh, you got my string? You love that string? Get it. Oh, oh, good job, bud. Good job. Oh, you're so vicious. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, get that low center of gravity. Go, go. Who are you? Buddy, I am the Dragon Warrior. Ah. You guys always ask me, Steve, why are you happy? It's because I freaking have the best life. Who wouldn't be happy with little pups like this and nieces? So when I have a hard day, when I come, come over to pick up Hobbs after a day of reading well, like four people being just silly, about blood flow restriction training, I get a little upset. Oh, you got my ear. You just keep coming back for more, you little bulldog. You little bulldog. You little bulldog. I'm gonna play you like a drum. So it's like, I, I'm a dad, so I gotta show dominance. <laughs> oh, my nose, you got it. You got it, you bit my nose. Oh, that doesn't taste very good. Okay, boys, okay, boys. So for those of you guys wondering why I named him Hobbs, because this is Calvin. So we got Calvin and Hobbs, they're best buddies when they're not fighting. Ow! 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 That one hurt! 
Are you feel bad now? Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Why, you little duck. Oh, look at him cower. Just like the boy. I can't stay mad at such a helpless little mammal. I'm gonna get you for that, you little scamp. Here, here take that, Pinchy. Just got back home from a little grocery shopping. Does anyone else hate grocery shopping but love to eat? Because that's me. So here's what I get. Since I'm tired of stopping at Starbucks for coffee, 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 I got iced coffee, unsweetened almond milk, 35 calories per serving. Um, the typical egg whites. Um, I'm not doing any dairy right now. Dairy messes up my stomach, so um, I got these bad boys. Coconut lime, dairy-free, dairy -free, gluten-free, real wholesome and clean, just like me. What else we got here? Um, maybe I was thinking just like treats. Gluten-free waffles, not that I am gluten-free. Um, mangoes, because I like just eating mango chunks that are frozen. Don't knock it until you try it. They're vegan, Baker, don't worry. Um, Sweet potatoes. These are going in here. Here's here's probably why I don't need to grocery shop because I got all these frozen meals in here still. But it's just not quite the same as having fresh stuff. Um, what else do I got in here? Oh yeah, some blueberries for my oatmeal in the morning. I pretty much eat the same thing every single day. Moving on, we have white cheddar rice cakes. Best rice cakes out there. If you disagree with me, I'll fight you. I mean that brand. Um, I also like plain and or the, what is it? The caramel popcorn? No, caramel, I don't know. Dave's Killer Bread, 60 calories per slice. That way I can have oats and a slice of toast in the morning with avocado on it. Bananas, and then I have my protein. So 99% fat-free turkey, and then turkey patties, and then <laughs> this is one of my favorite sources of protein just deli meat either on sandwiches or by itself straight out of the fridge so um last but not least this is already eaten i can't have these in the house or else i'll eat a lot of them so it's a, like a protein cookie it's really not that great of macros i just like the way this one tastes and baker bought it for me today good looking out fam good looking out i'm gonna eat a little bit right now i'm gonna probably get my mango my mango dessert here, just frozen mangoes. Don't at me, bro, it's amazing. That's not for you. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. He thinks it's for him now. No, this is dad's. This can be yours. Watch how legendary this little guy is right now. I haven't even told you yet. I haven't even told him yet. Okay, okay, come here, Hobbs. Sit, shake, Hobbs, shake, Hobbs, shake, shake. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Look how little he is, but you're so fat. I know, but the main goes for me. And now we're gonna talk about haters because I'm really, it's just, it's just one of those things. It really sticks in my craw when we make, you know, try to put out sound content, whether it's on YouTube, I mean, that's part of what fitness culture does. That's why, you know, we have Jake, who's the strength coach. We have, you know, other people on staff that have degrees in these things. So, Alan Bishop, another one. We put out an occlusion band video, blood flow restriction. And all of a sudden, everyone's an expert on blood flow restriction. Really, nobody knows what the heck they're talking about that's commenting, oh, you know, this is bro science. Fortunately, there's a lot of good people on there. It's like, hey, this is pretty sound. We even actually had a couple of FDA companies that reach out that actually make blood flow restriction cuffs for physical therapy patients. So in regards to that video on my Instagram, blood flow restriction is definitely proven to help with maintaining strength with people that can't lift heavy weight otherwise. Now there is also some backing up of growth um, but it's one of those things where people are like, well, why don't you just train heavier? Whether you're having joint problems, recovering from an injury, your CNS, if you're an athlete and you're doing a bunch of other things, you can only, you can only train so heavy so often. So um, we, we, do, we don't do it often in terms of what's not like every single workout, but once a week, some blood flow restrictions on your arms. And again, we're not cutting off any, any 
blood flow from the arteries, we're cutting off the blood flow, or not cutting off, restricting, restricting blood flow from the venous artery, or for the, we're gonna have to cut that part. We're restricting blood flow from the veins coming back. Again, not blocking, we're not making this dangerous. We're not, we're not causing a tourniquet there, just some restriction. Um, anyhow, you guys, there's plenty of science on there. I'll leave some in the description, or one key study that we were kind of citing in that. But by all means, check it out. And sometimes you're just gonna get haters in life. Hobbs, what do you do when you get haters? You don't have haters, do you? Some people did say, I had one person say Poppy was cuter. I was like, cool bro, they're cousins. Like, I did have like 100 people say he was cuter. But those people are still kind of just, who knows, maybe they're just being nice. So here's my advice, because I know you guys are asking for it. Every now and then I do get asked for this. What do I do with haters? You kind of have to have your highs that can't get too high and your lows that can't get too low. So you might have everyone in the world just kissing your ass telling you you're amazing. You can't buy that. And then when you know a couple people come out of the woodwork and say awful things, you don't buy that either. It's kind of like outliers. You kind of take what the majority of the people say. You're gonna have people that think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, I said sliced bread. Sliced bread's pretty great. I mean, I didn't live in a time before sliced bread, but you're gonna have people that think your shit doesn't stink. And then you have people that think your shit, your roses really smell like poo poo. Your roses really smell like poo poo. But it's that middle, you know, that's, that's like the people that matter most in life are gonna be people that you know care about you. Cause those people that care about you most, they're gonna wanna see you succeed. So if I had, you know, done something, my dad, you know, my friends, my sister, my grandma, Jake, my buddy Scott, these people say, hey, like, what? Like, that's when I listen, because I know those people really care about you. So if you are maybe, you know, you have a brand or your social media, you get people on there commenting things, take a, first take a good look at, do they matter? Do, does that person matter in your life? If not, don't worry about it. You know what does matter? Mangoes, mangoes matter. All right, that is it for tonight's vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We don't just make vlogs to just to, just to run ads on. Yes, we do that. Yes, thank you guys for supporting me because I couldn't pay Alec Baker to come up with really cool angles without that like Instagram subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And you know what? Maybe, just maybe hit that like button. It makes me feel good when I see, you know, over 3,000 likes on a video. I'm not saying like I get the most likes ever, but we try to make good content. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if there's any other